Hi guys, this is my channel about home brewing. If you're into beer and home brewing, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss anything. Today we're doing a grain to glass video of my Oktoberfest. I'm gonna taste the beer, we're gonna have a look at the brew footage, then we will go through the recipe and my tasting notes. And yeah, let's talk a little bit about Oktoberfest. So, meanwhile, you uh, watch the brew footage. Oh, I was thinking that you're gonna watch the brew footage while I pour, but of course you want to see the pour of the beer. What a, what a beautiful looking beer. So guys, there you have it, it's a little bit dark on camera. So let's start with the brew footage to see how I made this awesome looking Oktoberfest beer. Cheers!
So guys, that was the brew footage. So we're gonna have a look at the beer. Wish I had a flashlight here. To me on camera, this looks like a, almost like a porter, but it's, you can see it. I have no second lighting. I'm so stupid. Okay, got, got this light now. I'm so stupid, sorry. I could buy one of those flashlights which you fit on the wall in here. So now you see it a little bit better. It's not dark as a porter. So it's a very good looking beer. But when all the lights is coming from here, from the camera lights, all you see is dark. But as you see, it's a clear looking beer. I don't know what you see, but I think so. Amber, like a dark amber call it beer. Not that bright, but something like that, maybe. Yeah. So we have a beautiful looking amber colored beer. So Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest is like a malty lager. And uh, I've seen a lot of video with uh, Brad Alison and, and Jessica, I follow the channel. I'm gonna put a link to their channels down below. I really love their stuff. I'm trying to get Jessica to do the intro for his channel, but she won't do it. Maybe someday. Uh, what I wanted to come to is they have been talking about a lot of Oktoberfest, like beer, spiced beer. Uh, I think that must be uh, like an American thing. I'm from Sweden and it's not so far from Germany. So we do have quite few Oktoberfest every year here in Sweden. And none of the Oktoberfest I've ever tried has had any like spices in them. I never heard of such a thing really. Like, Oktoberfest or call it the Martian is like a malt lager, it has a sweetness, a malt sweetness to it. So it's like a, th a thicker malty lager, higher in ABV than a normal strength beer. It doesn't have to be as dark as this one, but I wanted it to be. It can be. Uh, it can be from a lighter color even to like darker color like this one. Not like you see it, but yeah. Like this one, so it can be a dark lager as well. It's not like a Schwarz beer, something like that. Which also is a German 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 dark lager. But with that, I didn't mean that Oktoberfest is a dark lager, but it can be like lighter to amber and even like a dark amber. Let's give it a nose. Yeah, so we have that malty sweetness, the, the breadiness. We're gonna go through the recipe as well. So you can, and uh, yeah, I will talk about my thoughts about it and yeah, on the beer. Some of the Oktoberfest I've tried has been too sweet for my palate. I don't really like too sweet beers. Some are too sweet, but so I, I wanted, uh, drier beer, not not super dry, but I didn't want it to be very, very sweet. Yeah, I said, this style is not about hops, so... Maltiness, sweetness, breadiness. Almost like a um, toffee. Biscuit. Okay, guys, cheers. Let's dive in. I really should have like dressed up for this video with leather hosen and yeah, I didn't. Okay, so this one is 
quite dry for being on Oktoberfest, but it has the more sweetness and uh, yeah, almost like a biscuit toffee thing to it. It's really, really clean beer. Can't sense like any off flavors in it. So I'm quite pleased with the result, but uh, it's one of the uh, like driest Oktoberfest I ever tried, but um, I prefer this over the, the Boat one, which is often too sweet for my taste and I really like to uh, of course brew the beers that I can enjoy so that's why I try to brew a beer like this but it's, it's not dry as a really really dry lager but it's not as sweet as most of the Oktoberfest I tried, but it has that maltiness, that richness, that breadiness, and uh, like a caramel flavor to it. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with this beer. I'm gonna go through the recipe now. And if I have any notes on it, the OJ of this beer was 1057 and the FG was 1014. So said it's not a super attenuated out beer, but it's in the middle there. It's not sweet like 1018, 1020 or and at that ballpark, but it's, and it's not like 1010 either. It's in the middle 1014, which I think is often like a good level. When I started uh, home brewing. I thought, no, it's ended at 10.14, it's gonna be sweet. It doesn't mean that it has to be sweet, because it ends at 10.14. There are different types of sugars, all of them aren't as sweet as others. And sweetness is a balancing act with the bitterness. So you can counteract the sweetness by doing a more bitter beer. So it's a balancing act, really. What can I give you more? Mere? What can I give you more? Mere is the Swedish word for more, by the way. Yes, you get to learn a lot of Swedish here on the channel. So the ABV is 5.7%. And let's go to the grain bill. I used, I'm gonna give you the grain bill in um, kilos, and I'm also gonna give you the grain bill in percentage. And also you will have the uh, hops in grams and in IBUs. And this is for a 23 liter batch. So I used 2.7 kilos of Munich malt. That's 50% Munich. I used 1.62 kilos of Pilsner. That's 30%. So I really did the percentage hard here. So that's why the figures in kilos is a bit weird, maybe. And I used 320 grams of wheat, that's 6%. Wheat malt, that is. I used 270 grams of biscuit malt, that's 5%. And I used 130 grams of uh, crystal 30, that's 2.5%. I used 130 grams of Cara Munich 2, that's 2.5%. Two I used 110 grams of acid malt, that's 2%. And I also added 110% of uh, chocolate malt, that's 2%. I added the chocolate malt at uh, mash out. That's mainly for color in this one. And I used 15 grams of Magnum at 65 minutes. That, according to Beersmith, gave an ABU of 17.8. And I used 
and I used 25 grams of Mandarina Bavaria at 5 minutes and that gave uh, 4.1 IBUs. And uh, this beer was fermented on an old yeast cake in the uh, Fermentosaurus and this was fermented under pressure like 2.4 bars of pressure, so a lot of pressure there so this was another hot fermented lager. If you follow my channel, that's the way I do my lagers. And yeah, this was fermented for a very long time. Because I went to a two kilometer long flea market. So that gave me a very high efficiency. I have, a, we have two videos up about efficiency and time I'll put a cord up to that I often do that a star mashing and uh, then I do something else maybe I go for like buying some groceries and um, yes today not today but that day I went to this long flea market I picked up uh, another camera stand for like five bucks I think yeah five bucks good camera stand so cheers see if we have some other notes this was fermented out like 17c to start with then i ramped it up after like two days something like that and uh, yeah crashed it and caked it and now it has been sitting on the cake. I did use some gelatin on this one, but this has been sitting in the cake for... I have a date here. Like three weeks, something like that. So it has had some time to condition. So this is a month old beer. And this is for party. Uh... Two weeks from now so uh, it will have like five weeks of conditioning time it took me like a week to brew it not as much but like five days something like that normal time I brew lagers under pressure using the uh, fermentosaurus I have a, a whole like playlist on the fermentosaurus I'm gonna put a cord up for that as well and if you haven't watched my under three days lager please go and watch that videos as well with all the videos I'm gonna place links down below also so you can go through them afterwards so the uh, the recipe for the Oktoberfest goes up on my patreon page in written form for you guys who want that and uh, yeah are you brewing any uh, Oktoberfest this year please comment down below or have you had any Oktoberfest? Do you have any insight in the spiciness which Brad Allison are talking about? If you have, please comment down below. So guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. If you want even more content, there are always my Patreon page. If you want recipes and like a vlog style. And there's my back catalog of videos. So, cheers guys and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out.